name is Shane Walsh. I'm Paul Cody. I'm Bruno Nunes. I'm Aidan Toy. We are electrical engineering students here in DIT Chemistry, and today we're going to talk to you about a fun and simple experiment that you can attempt at home. With parental supervision. Hi guys, Aidan here again. Today we are going to be doing an experiment. What is involved in this experiment is we're going to reconstruct a DC motor. We are going to use household items, items that can be found anywhere around the house. These items are a battery, a magnet, and a copper cable equaling our DC motor. But what is a DC motor? Okay, little Bruno, let me explain you what is a DC motor. DC motor converts energy into movement. A DC motor uses the same power that your battery provides to move every kind of machines in the world. From big cranes to small toys, such remote control cars use motors like this. Hi guys, so what you're going to need to construct this is a battery, a magnet and some copper cable. So for the battery, you can use an everyday double A battery, fine, which can be found in remote controls or it can be bought in any store. Uh, in this case, we're using a C type battery, which is perfectly fine as well, and that's the same to be found in any, most stores or garages. Um, you're going to need a magnet. For the magnet, you can be bought in, in most electronic stores. In this case, we're using a button style magnet. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, we bought that in Maplin, but again, if you can't get to a Maplin's or an electronic store, you can be found in a fridge, a fridge magnet, for example. And some copper cable. Uh, there's some copper cable we're using here, is like that. And um, this can be found in most electronic items going around the house, um, such as like a cord from an old lamp you're not using. Just be careful if you are doing it, or when you're snipping it, just be careful with your hands, so obviously safety first. And again, if you can't get it there, it can be bought in the likes of any hardware store. It's Shane and Aiden, and what are we going to do now, Aiden? Well, what we're going to do now is we're going to reconstruct our DC motor in our simple experiment test. Now we have to construct the copper wire. This is the only element where you have to construct and have to put together. I have a pre-made one already, which gives you an idea of how to make it and, and what's involved. You can make it into any shape once the two sides are symmetrical. You have contact with the with, with the with the magnet and then contact with the top of the battery. The simple way, which which I'm showing you here of how to make it, is you you, you look at the you get a full length of, of, of copper wire around 30 centimeters, around the same size of, a, of an average ruler. You fold the middle part in half. You can see the two ends touching, and the top of it is, is touching. And you you crimp it in, and then you you turn it around like that. Then you, you get an even distance, like, like shown here. You bend it here at the same point and at the same point again, to shown like that. Then you, bend, you get the length here, at the same length either side, bend down either side like that, so two sides are the same. Then you measure the, the length of the battery. You measure the length of the battery through here and the length of, of of the bottom of the magnet and add it all together. So then you can bend it, you can look at it and measure it from the side. So you can bend it here, like, like so, and bend it here like so. And this this shows, and this gives a, a part where it touches the two, where it touches the magnet. So an easy, an easy diagram is this one here. Now we're going to assemble the DC motor. So the first thing you do is take the battery, place the magnet on the positive end of the battery, place that down on the table, then get your armature or the conductor that you're using, and make sure that's steady. <laughs> now, place this on, and try not to bend it too much while placing it, and it should.
So here we have a simple diagram of a DC motor, similar to the one that we created earlier. Now what's going on in this is the battery is creating a circuit with the copper wire end to end of the battery, and this is causing a current to flow through the wire. This current is causing a small magnetic field within the wire, and that is then repelled by the magnet when it passes through, and that causes the copper wire to rotate. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned some basic principles of engineering today. Hopefully, from this, you may consider in the future studying some engineering.